I've been often asked the question, meditation, what is meditation, how to meditate? It's something that I speak about often to audiences all around the world. Meditation is really a simple term. First of all, we must understand meditation is not a religious activity. But meditation, just the term meditate, it simply means to find medium, to find your equilibrium. If you speak to a good psychologist, he will tell you that to meditate is to be in equilibrium. When you are in disequilibrium, you are completely off balance. Speak to a physician and she will tell you that when you experience homeostasis, you are actually at the most balanced stage in your life. So meditation is a fantastic phenomenon. It's a practice that helps you to return to your center. It brings you into the medium. To meditate comes from the word mediate. And so it brings you into your medium, into your center, into your core. And so one may ask the question, uh, uh, um, how can I meditate? When should I meditate? Can I meditate at 2 in the morning? Can I meditate um, whilst in the car, uh, whilst walking, whilst in the gym? The answer is, you can meditate preferably in a comfortable environment. And comfortable meaning perhaps in the lotus-like position the way Buddha meditated, perhaps at home, early in the morning, it's recommended that meditation before the sunrise, one should wake up and take deep breaths. In the ancient Indian philosophies, in transcendental meditation, in prana, in yoga, whatever sort of school of tradition, uh, whatever meditational schools of traditions, they often suggest that you do so early in the morning. And the reason for this is because you start your day in a balanced state of mind. And, and they re require that you sit in a very comfortable seat. For a lot of us, we can do the lotus position with our feet folded and our backs upright. And uh, we can just go within. And for some of us, we can sit at the kitchen table or on a couch. Just comfortable, that's the important thing, where you are comfortable. And you allow your mind to be focused on something. In Eastern India, they recommend something called a mantra. Man means the mind, tra means the vehicle. So they give you a mantra, and this mantra can be something like om, a simple thing like that. It can be the term light. Mantra can be a word like inspiration or motivation or abundance. So whatever your mantra for the day is, the gurus of India normally suggest that you use or recite a mantra when you begin meditation. It helps you calm. It helps you uh, with direction. It places your mind and your focus on something specific. And so it's like a vehicle. It really is something that's like a tag. It keeps you completely in focus without the mind uh, uh, being hither and thither. And so the mantra I use when I meditate most times is just Om, the simple ancient Sanskrit syllable. Om means infinity. Om means eternity. Om means eternal bliss. Om means divinity. And so when I use Om, I close my eyes very quietly, very silently. I allow my mind and the internal dialogue that goes on in here and creates tremendous turbulence sometimes to quiet down. And I recite the mantra Om very, very quietly in my mind. And I repeat that mantra until my mind comes on to a focus, on a path of focus, where I'm able to completely ground myself on the substratum, on the platform of medium and meditation. So meditation is, again, I must uh, repeat this, it's not a religious activity. In fact, it's an activity of, uh, of, of self-development. Uh, I feel that anyone who meditates will be a better brother, a better student, a better father, a better husband, a better doctor, a better professional, because ultimately, why do you meditate? You meditate to tap into this inner recess, to this inner resource that for some people we call it Atma, some people call it Jiva, some people call it Shiva, 
some people call it soul, some people call it spirit, but ultimately I would like to call it the self. You meditate so you can tap into the self and embrace the self and begin your day with a state of balance on a platform of direction and most important, equilibrium. So I want to suggest that uh, you take time out every day for, in, in your life. Um, uh, five minutes, you should start with probably five minutes. Um, I want to also suggest that you have a mantra and not just go into meditation with the idea of silence. Silence can be very noisy if you aren't careful. And so the beginning of meditation is going to be chaotic. There'll be all kinds of voices and noises and different things happening to take your mind away from a focal point. So as an instrument, as, as a focal point, uh, you should prob probably get a mantra or pick a mantra for yourself. Just pick a word abundance, pick a word divine, pick a word uh, uh, infinite, something that you are you, you like, some word that you like very much, and just hold that word as your focal point and very quietly allow your soul, allow your being, allow the spirituality within you, the divinity within you to unfold itself effortlessly. And uh, um, one of the things I want to say to you right now as I conclude this message is, you, know, you are not your name, you are not your social security number or your credit card number. You're not the person who signs the check and sends it out for the mortgage every month. That's not who you are. Essentially and ultimately who you are is true being and divine spirituality within. So the person who is actually listening to this conversation right now, take a moment and shift your attention. You are looking at me, you are listening to my voice, produce and manufacture this message. But there is a listener. There is someone deep within you who is actually listening to this conversation. That individual is the self. That person is not Sarah, Samantha, Smith, Jonathan, Nathaniel. That person is the self. It's the core. It's the absolute you. In the Eastern part of the world, they call that person Atma or Jiva. But I prefer to call that person the self. So when you are able to tap into the self and you're able to embrace the self and you're able to start your day by meditating, a lot of times if you go to great teachers, you know, a woman went to Buddha once and said, Lord Buddha, I'm completely, completely disturbed. I'm frustrated. I don't know what to do. And he said one thing three times. He said, meditate, meditate, meditate. So with these three words, I want to encourage you to meditate. It's a fantastic, it's a phenomenal exercise and you will find greater inner peace so that you can live your life abundantly. You can live your life exuberantly and you can live your life with enthusiasm and energy. So with that, I want to say meditate.